got Rise versus Renekton. I need early armor. Not gonna start Cloth Five though. You played all your promo games? Uh, yeah, I won. I went two and zero in the promos, and yeah, I won straight through them. I want to play this game and make a video, hopefully with this game, and then make some food real quick. Probably just like a sandwich or something. I'll take another five minutes, and then I'll play a game, or I'll start playing ranked again. Fun. It's not fun actually. Oh, flash. No, I'm not gonna recall. No ghost top. I'll wait until I have enough for my tier. So that's why he gets ghost. still ranged and he isn't so yeah I gotta change my name now probably gonna have to get an early seekers no flash on this Renekton Enough for my tier, so I'm gonna get that. <clears throat> God bless your nectins. Definitely buy the croc, yeah. Croc the croc is strong. Strength of the Bear. Fogger and Gamer, thank you for the follow, brother. Thank you for tuning into the stream. Let's go, let's go. Hope I said that right. Oh man, I'm so weak. So I'm just gonna try my best to harass him with autos every time I can. Stack this tier. No, um, no ghost on him. No teleport on him, so I'll have the advantage. Oh my god, what do you think of Olaf? Um, the Olaf with the buff, with his new buff on his ultimate, is actually kind of good. He can still get kited kind of hard. All right, I need to farm better. Farming horribly. Hey, got the cannon though. I am so dead. Man, that ghost is cheese. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, not having armor and runes is probably not the best idea. Gonna have to get this really early Seekers before I even get the Catalyst. Play some bot games, trying to land the Croc. Good luck. Good luck, man. Just remember he's a lane bully. Kappa. Tough start. Probably gonna have to roam because I don't want to keep feeding this guy. Every time he gets ghost, he'll be able to kill me. Who's mid lane? TF? Yeah, that makes for easy ganks. Going to play the ring king. This guy's recalling. I'm gonna take a camp. Every time I go top, he's just gonna kill me, so I'm not gonna go back. I played enough for Necton to know that. <laughs> Just got dragon probably. Like I'll let him shove and then I'll go back top lane, but I can't lane against Renekton right now. Just gonna have to try to be effect ineffective, ineffective, <laughs> effective in other lanes. All right, so he's gonna he roamed. Which means I get to get some free farm. And he doesn't have TP, so I'm gonna have the free wave. Two free waves. Oh man. I didn't see if Renekton was low health or high health, so I'm kind of going to have to back off here, because I'm out of mana. Still down quite a bit. Oh man, it's pretty low too. If I had full health, like, if I had full mana at full health, I think I could have taken him. Catalyst should be a buy here. Yeah, I'm just going to go Catalyst. Probably a mistake since I should finish Seekers, but I'm gonna do this anyway. On TV, I don't want to miss any waves, and I'm already really behind.
Yeah, so the auto. Alright, I'm gonna go take Gromp now. What does he have? Brutalizer. Jeez, with the off offensive Renekton. That's good for me, as long as I just don't die to him. He's gonna be nice and squishy. I'm not gonna give up minion waves for blue buff, sorry. Half health, not bad. You better clean him up. Never mind, you don't have to kill him even though you were killing him. I'm gonna go Frozen Heart this game. Nope, that's a lie. I'm going Zhonya's. I'm not gonna go Frozen Heart. I've already said before that I don't really like Frozen Heart on the new Rise, so I'm not gonna do it. Don't come top. I'm definitely gonna keep eating. Oh man, he missed both of those. Not just me, but him too. Just gotta get stronger. Gotta get my rod. Start stacking health. Need the boots also. Really weak early game compared to Renekton. But yeah, the only thing I need to do right now is stop dying. If I get a kill, then that's actually not bad but if I just die without getting any farm or anything that's bad wave is shoving so I'm taking this jungle I'm taking jungle camps Team is doing okay, so Jesus, that damage. have that tower bud I'm cool with that and now all I can literally do is scale the rod and the archangels 
Just a waiting game. I'll go a little more defensive. Well, to go a little more defensive, I think the only thing you can get is a rod. I mean, um... It's a frozen heart and a... a uh, Seekers. Probably gonna get the Zhonya's first, though. No. I'll stop at Seekers. And then I'll work on Frozen Heart. Oops. Blue buffs up. I actually accept his offer for blue buff now. Mostly getting it just for experience and the gold. I don't really care if I have the buff or not. All I care about is um getting the gold. One in three, not too bad. It's bad, but it's not that bad. Down 20 farm, I think, is worse than me being one in three. Me being one in three, that was a really good bar cue. Where did Renekton go? Okay, he's mid. Excellent. Alright, he's going back top. He's Yasuo gets the... No, leave. That means I get the free farm. Huzzah! I will get this. Huzzah! Okay, there's Lee, and here comes Renekton. That's why he's still chasing me. See a nerd. Oh, he's got Ghost and Blithering King. Wrecked, bitch. Time for MR, bitch. Damn, that damage is crazy. I, like, burned right through him. And I know that's super salty, like, unmuting him, sending a message and meeting him, but, like, he's a Renekton player, man. Like, if you, when I use Renekton and people talk shit to me, I, I, I agree with them, because I'm using Renekton. Like, that dude is legit cheese. But, like, what's worse is this guy's building flat-ass damage. Like, not, that's it, just damage. And then he buys a cloth armor, so that, like, tells me he has absolutely no respect for my rise. So now, like, I'm gonna kill him. That was pretty crazy damage. Let's go, let's go. He's got Merc Chads, but... 
don't think it's the best thing he could have gotten. Finish Archangels into Frozen Heart. Oh man, that kick. And my ulti already went away. I wanted a wave clear, but I didn't have any stacks up, so it wasn't um, gonna be quick. Oh! I'd very much like to not die again, thank you very much. Later in King Yomu's Renekton. stacks and I'm catching up in farm I went from being down 30 to 15 so I'm cool with that Zanyas I'm gonna go frozen heart Zanyas and from my very last item void staff maybe If I want some more health, I'll go Leandri's, but I don't think Leandri's on Rise is that effective. It's not really a damage over time kind of deal. top tower here. There's five minutes, so I'm going to keep pushing. TF uses his ulti to come top, I should be able to kill him. I'm gonna die for this. I'm not. I'm gonna stay actually, because they're not sending Renekton. And Renekton is the only person that can come close to killing me. And I'm out. I'll flash if I have to. Your team has destroyed a turret. Next time I get Zanyas. 
And I'll get a cloth armor. 121 armor against Renekton is not good. 121 armor and 2.5k health is decent. Especially one with Blade of the Ring King. It's a nice little passive for Renekton's empowered W. I'm only gonna use my spells to keep like my stacks up, honestly. In case Renekton tries something cute. Once I see him show somewhere on the map, then I heart shove. down please well I guess saying it to them won't do anything let's see how strong I really am TF is here. Correct. Yeah, he just disappeared. Stacks the dream. If he's alone, I'm pretty sure I can take him. Which is exactly why he's backing off. Fight me, bitch. He didn't have a chance to solo me anyway. There's no way. Yeah. That was bound to happen. salt in this video but that Renekton annoyed the hell out of me for what he built annoyed the hell out of me like if he would have built tank he would have been whatever like he's being Renekton but this build is not a Renekton build that's a cocky ass Renekton build right there Blade of the Ring King into Yomu's yeah he's just asking to lose um damage dealt not 
too much. Anyways, so early game I start off I think 0 and 3. When you get to that point, and then I went 1 and 4 because I got the kill I believe. <clears throat> when you get to 0 and 2 against the Renekton, your best bet is honestly to just leave the lane. And I tried doing that for a while, but then I had to go back top because the lane was shoving. And then he like dove me under tower and gave me a kill. Um, <clears throat> the only time I'd ever go top, and even then he was still diving me and like almost killing me. But um, <clears throat> as Rise, you pre you're pretty much a ticking time bomb once you get your tier. Um, because as you get your tier, you're gonna it's gonna stack. You're gonna get stronger. And then it's another bomb when you get your rod, and I got my rod, and it just went uphill from there. Notice how I didn't group or anything. I wasn't, I was strong, but I wasn't as strong as I had to be to, like, start team fighting. And then my team was doing really well without me. So, my, then my team doing well definitely helped, because I just stayed top, AFK farmed, and just scaled insanely well. Um... But like I said, when you feed a Renekton like that, you just have to stay away. Like, just stay away, man. That's the only thing you can do. Um, he went 8-3, and three, but you all saw that last fight. Like, I know that Velkaz got the kill, but that dude wasn't going to kill me. Like, there was no way. And I hope, I want to try and... I want to try and see if we can watch it. No, we can't watch. I wanted to, but it's not letting me. I have an idea though, and I'll try this out. Well, I mean, look right here. I think this will prove my point a little bit about the whole scaling thing. See a nerd. Oh, he's got ghost and Blizzard King. Alright, so I pop my ulti and get, I pop my passive at, I want to see how much health I'm at. At 258 health. Renekton's at... 1436 all right 258 to 1436 and he has lifesteal and I just 0 to 100 this dude like crazy and I almost 0 to 100 this dude wrecked bitch see what I mean here he just hell just disappeared like crazy that's that's I, I like just want to watch that continuously because this is that's crazy man I'm at four stacks I pop my fifth and the spam begins Wrecked that's crazy it. that's that's ridiculous all right um, us. notice I was able to do all that at four stacks okay because when you're at four stacks that's when your passive is fully you, you use your fifth one you use your fifth spell and then every all your cooldowns just go down with each spell you use. Okay, as you saw, there was just it was just continuous spam on my part. I wish it let me show a little later into the game, but it's not. It hasn't like loaded. But I wanted to show that last fight against Renekton and like show that there was no way this dude was gonna <laughs> was gonna beat me there. I was just too tanky. And I'm running six oh yeah, we'll go over the runes right now. But you know what I mean. Um Let's go over the game, the runes and the masteries and the build. Which is actually pretty important right now.
Jeez, I fed hard. One. Then, oh, okay, wait a minute. One. And then he got a kill on Rengar. And double buffs. And then two. Three, but I killed him. So there I was one and three. And then I killed him and died. Oh no, I got the tower. And then I killed him and died right here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There. I'm, I'm assuming it's there. No? There. I don't know where it was. The one you saw in the video. Anyways. When I started off 0-2 against Renekton. You'll notice that I tried to get a roam off mid lane. Um, wasn't successful. So I just started taking the jungle camps. And I only went top lane when my wave shoved into my tower. That's the only time. And even that's risky because he'll dive you. But, um, let's go over the masteries first. I went 21-09. With this new rise, since you're actually going to be building ability power, um, he actually benefits a little more than what he used to with the old rise. Because the old rise, you would just stack a lot of mana. I mean, you would go Rod of Ages and Archangels, but after that, you wouldn't really go anything else for AP. You would get a Frozen Heart um, for more damage. Then you would go, like, Spirit Visage, maybe. And then for your last item, maybe you would go Void Staff, or you would go GA, or you would go something tanky, you know? But now that I'm actually building, like, Zhonya's, and... Well, I think Zhonya's is enough. It's 120 ability power, so you do get a little bit for with um, Archmage. Um, again, I was probably going to go Frozen Heart if the game was pro kept progressing, because... TF was too far behind. Everyone was really far behind except for Renekton, so I, I didn't really think I needed to worry about MR. Because what I used to run on Rise were 0921 or 0219. Um, but that's not the case here. I go 2109. What you can do is you can take two points off in um, source, Sorcery, and then add a point to double its sword, and your third one to Devastating Strikes, or maybe add one to Expose a Weakness. But um, I. Went for it in sorcery this time just to get the extra bit of CDR um, because your CDR works with your passive. Anyways, uh, nine points in utility. <coughs> I really like fleet of foot on rise. I love movement speed on rise. Um, but now that they changed expanded mind last patch, the fact that it gives flat mana now instead of increased percent mana. I mean, I guess you can call it a nerf. For Rise, because he actually needs the mana uh, for his ability power and scaling, but the flat mana actually helps some of his early game. Not to use my video as an example, because I got dominated by Renekton early. Um, but yeah, uh, take utility. Defensive tree is nice, but I mean, Expanded Mind just helps you with your scaling by giving flat mana. And Culinary Master is really good on Rise. I like the biscuits for Rise. 20 health, 10 mana. That's good. And obviously I go Butcher and Feast on him because you take any all the mana you can possibly get early. So you, even if that comes from killing minions. <clears throat> Alright, so for my runes, which I'm probably going to experiment with a little more. Especially if I go against someone like Renekton. Because there has to be a rune page that I can come up with. So that if I go against someone heavy, like, heavy bully early, I won't lose that bad. Not so much Darius. I've gone against a couple of Dariuses with this build, with these, with these runes, and I beat them every time. Like, maybe I'll give up a kill or two, but that's at level 6. It's never really early in the lane phase. On the other hand, Renekton killed me level 2 or level 3. So, but for the runes, I use Spell Vamp Quints, Mana Blues, Magic Pen Reds, and Scaling Health Yellows. <clears throat> maybe against Renekton, I'd probably use Flat Health Yellows. And maybe take two armor quints. Or even three. The spell vamp is... I'm going to tell you exactly why I take spell vamp. This 2% spell vamp, which actually equals up to six. Um, if you combo that with your ulti after you have three items, you just vamp up like insane amounts. Okay. And if you... I, always, I usually get spirit visage now. I used to go abyssal scepter. But now I'll go Abyssal Scepter and Spirit Visage if they have at least three or four AP. Because um, <clears throat> I think Zhonny's is enough. 
for me to sustain through any AD Bruiser top liners. Um, Zhonya's and my ulti and the spell vamp. So that's probably why I'm not getting Frozen Heart. And like another reason why I'm not getting Frozen Heart, if you think about it, like when you get your five stacks up and your passive, your skills are almost like simultaneously constantly going, if that makes any sense. Like, you just constantly let your spells out, like Q, W, E, W, Q, E, like, over and over and over again. So, that that 20% CDR from Frozen Heart, I mean, in this in this in in the little 6 seconds, I think, or is it 8 seconds? In the 6 to 8 seconds that you have with your passive up, you can get your ulti back up. I'll, I'll put it, like, I'll say that. You pop your ulti to get your 5 stacks. And you just spam spells over and over and over again. And by the time your passive is over, your ult is up again. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that's one of, probably one of the reasons I don't need the Frozen Heart. The CDR from the Frozen Heart, at least. Because Frozen Heart was so good on Rise because armor, mana, CDR. And it gave a lot of CDR. And it has a nice aura. Which wouldn't have been bad against Renekton. But like I said, I was going to build it anyway after Zhonya's. <clears throat> So yes, uh, these are the runes I ran against anybody that deals magic damage. I think you're okay with these. I've gone against some Rumbles, Cassiopeias, Echoes, and I've won the lane every time with this. Again, I play very safe. I just farm and I scale. Okay, because you're Rise, you're gonna be a beast. Like in that game, with like the game I just played right now, I just stayed AFK top lane. They wanted to fight, let them fight. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna be a monster. So as soon as I jumped back and found the TF, I melted him in three spells. I W-E'd and then Q'd, and he just disappeared. Or Q-E-W, one of two. <clears throat> so it's like, Rise is like a Nasus. Alright, like you just have to play it safe early. And it's best to put your, uh, it's best to put your scaling on, like on hold a little bit than it is to die. Alright, dying for two creeps is not worth it. And that's exactly what I did early game, which was a mistake. If you're going to miss creeps, miss the creeps, man. Just don't die. And that's where I faltered. <clears throat> Alright, going for the spells. You max Q first, obviously. Helps you with the farming. Um, then you max Rune Prison. I max Rune Prison second because it helps with ganks. Uh, as soon as you hit that level 9 power spike, you're going to have 2 points in it by then. So it should last, I don't think it'll tell you, but... I think, what, a second? Which is better than you think. Like, it's better than nothing, honestly, because you're going to have it up again if you're at 5 stacks, you know what I mean? Like, it's going to constantly come up over and over again if you're using your passive correctly. Uh, if you want to, like, auto-shove waves, if you're against someone who has the team fight, like... Against Renekton, it wouldn't be bad for me to max E for the wave clear. You can definitely max E second, and you'll insta-clear waves with your ultimate, so. Not too shabby. Really up to you, it's your preference. But against, I, again, I was going against someone like Renekton in lane, I needed to take extra points in Rune Prison. I haven't experimented with maxing Rune Prison first, but I don't think it would have helped against Renekton, I doubt it. So yeah, Q, W, and then E. Uh, e second if you want to just auto-shove waves <clears throat> with your ultimate. Alright, going over the item purchase order. I started off with a mana crystal, two pots. Um, pretty standard. And I recalled as soon as I had enough for the tier. Although I think I might have died. Yeah, I definitely died and then I got the tier. Um, but normally what you would do is you would just farm until you can recall. And Actually, no, I didn't die. I remember, I didn't die. I died after, and then I bought the cloth armor. Um, as soon as you have enough for your tier, I would recall for it if you're getting bullied out. If you know you can stay a little longer, then maybe you can stay and recall at... Because it's going to cost you about... I want to say 320 to finish your tier. Um... So if you recall with 620, you can buy your tier and a cloth armor. You know what I mean? So that's an option. But I, like I said, I just finished with the tier, recalled, started the scaling early because I needed to get some form of damage against this Renekton. Um, 
Normally, you'll just go straight into Rod of Ages after that, but I had to buy the Cloth Armor because he was Renekton. Didn't really help much, and I'm going to take that into consideration next time. If I run this page against Renekton, I'm just not going to buy the Cloth Armor. It just didn't help me at all, so I'm not going to get it. I'm just going to finish my Rod of Ages as quickly as possible and then just start scaling. When Seekers after that, and... I still didn't have max stacks on my on my tiers, so I didn't really feel that need to like finish Archangels. So Yeah. After I got Seekers, which did help me a little bit towards that fight when I got two V1. Uh finished the Archangels, made sure I had over five hundred and fifty stacks before I finished it, and then went for Zanyas. I had an extra I bought an extra cloth armor. Because I was like, okay, I want to start building my Frozen Heart. Maybe get a Glacial Shroud. But I just went for the tab eye. They were pretty far behind, and my damage was pretty high with my Rod and my fully stacked Archangels. So I was like, you know what, I'll compensate the penetration for some Ninja tab eye. And because uh, Renekton was going like auto-attack, Renekton. With the Blade of the Ring King and the Yomus. Not a bad idea. It's pretty good. I don't regret that. Maybe Merc Treads, but nah, Merc Treads. Because they did have Bar, they have Renekton Stun, they had, they had a TF, but it wasn't. I think Tabai was the good buy there. Um, then finishes the Zanyas at the same time. So pretty strong. If there was something I could do different here, <clears throat> it would definitely be not to buy this Cloth Armor. And instead of the Cloth Armor, maybe you get a Health Crystal to get. Um, a little jump start on the catalyst. Justice guides us. But I think the build order was pretty uh, it's pretty okay. Not not too bad. <clears throat> so this was a rise top versus Renekton. Really, really tough early game. And then he took Ghost 2, which is even worse, because it comes up sooner than Flash does. And then he got that nice level 1 trade-off. So. Why max W instead of E? I max W because it has the longer root duration. <clears throat> and with this passive, now that you can get it up a lot sooner. Hey, um, you can be constantly imprisoning them. Like every one second. It's pretty crazy. But again, if you max E second, it's mostly for wave clear. Yeah, this was Rise versus Renekton. Tough lane phase, but again, just do your thing and scale. Um, <clears throat> do your thing and scale after you get your tier and your rod. Definitely a power spike when you get Archangels and Rod of Ages. That's when you can start team fighting, and you'll be quite strong and kind of and tanky. But I stayed top and was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep farming, and when I do show my face in team fights. It's going to be ugly. Like, it's going to be disgusting. <clears throat> but this was my Rise versus Renekton. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Especially with the lane phase, because you know I fed the lane phase pretty hard. Um, if you have any questions, if you want any clarification, comment it. Um, on the comment section or whatever, come to my Twitch. Go to my Twitch and ask me. And I'll definitely answer you. And uh, good luck. And remember, don't feed too hard, man. Like I fed that, I fed hard early. I was one in three, but bounced back a little bit. And even if this ri even if this Renekton went something like Ravenous, Spirit Visage, Spirit Visage Banshees, or a Hexdrinker, might like ah, uh, Rise would just outscale him. That's just the way he is. Like the way his passive is now, that buff he got was insane. Like it was so strong. <clears throat> but again, good luck, and I will see you guys later.